add integers. Well, what is an integer? So we think of integers as, well, all the numbers, positive, negative, and zero. But you see there are no decimals, no fractions. So integers are negatives and positives, including zero, no decimals, no fractions. Okay, so these are integers. We see integers on the number line. The idea of adding integers is that <clears throat> if a number is positive, we move to the right. If a number is negative, we move to the left. Because on a number line, positives are to the right, negatives are to the left. So let's do that. Let's add negative 2 plus 4. And I'm going to do this with a number line at least at first so you can see how this works. So we start at negative 2, which is here. Okay. And then we say add 4. So if we're adding 4, well, plus means move to the right. So I'm going to start here and move to the right four places. One two, three, four, and I end up at two. Now notice the relationship between negative four, negative two plus four equals two. Well, if I would rearrange these and make it a positive four minus two, that's also two. Let's keep that in mind for future spots. Now we're gonna add four plus negative five. Okay, again, we're starting at four, so here's four. And then we're adding negative 5. And it's a minus, so we're going to move left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're at negative 1. So 4 plus negative 5 equals negative 1. Let's look how they relate. Well, if I would take 5 minus 4, I get 1. But you'll notice the negative is bigger. So if my signs are different, it's the same as subtracting. 5 minus 4 is 1, but since the bigger number is negative, the answer is negative. Now, let's add negative 14 plus 23. So just, if you, sometimes for me, it just helps to visualize a number line. So I think, okay, negative 14 starts on the left, right? I'm negative 14, and then I'm going to add 23. So if this is negative 14, and then I move 23 spaces over here, where do I end up? Well... If I take 23 minus 14, the difference is 9. So that means from negative 14 to 0 is 14 spaces, and then from 0 to here is 9 spaces, because that together gives me 23. So negative 14 plus 23 is 9. Now I want to throw out some, uh, some basically, like, I guess they're rules, right? When you're adding integers... If the signs are the same, you simply add and then apply the sign. Which this make, should make sense a little bit because if I would take 3 plus 4, those are both integers, I simply add. And because 3 and 4 are both positive, 7 is also positive. Well, that works the same if I use negative. Negative 3 plus negative 4. Well... That means, uh, well, on a number line, if this is 0, I start at negative 3, and then it's negative 4, so I'm moving this way, I get more negative, right? 3 plus 4 is 7. Because both of them are negative, my answer would be negative 7. So if they're the same sign, that works pretty nicely. Now, in this case, if we have different signs, that's where it's a little bit different. So different signs, the rule is... Subtract, and the bigger number gets the sign. Okay, so subtract. We're going to, in this case, because we have 31 plus negative 17. So 31 minus 17, well, is 14. Okay, now look, 31, 17. 31 is bigger than 17, and 31 is positive, so my answer here is a positive 14. So 31 plus negative 17 is a positive 14. Let's do another one of those. Opposite signs, right? So we have a negative 18 plus a positive 5. So my first step is to subtract. 18 minus 5 is 13. Compare 18 and 5. 18 is bigger. 18 is negative. So my answer is negative 13. And think about it, again, just a visual on a number line. 
If I start at negative 18, that's way over here in the negatives. And then if I add 5, I don't get back to 0, which means I know my answer is still going to be negative because I'm falling on the negative side of 0. So if nothing else, when you're working on adding uh, early or subtracting negative numbers, if you can visualize the number line of just what side of 0 am I on, that might help you uh, with is it positive or is it negative.